Hey everybody, welcome to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy Blackford and I'm going to be teaching you about an effect called Key Light that we can use to key out our um, green screen footage or uh, blue screen footage or whatever you have. And this is probably the best native plugin that After Effects has for dealing with um, keying. And so um, I feel like almost all the time you should go with this uh, first. Um, I like to show, I have showed you all the other ones uh, before. Well, most of them, uh, the ones that I thought were important. And um, I think this one I saved the best for last, obviously. So let's, uh, I'll show you like right now, you can see how nice the key turned out to be. And literally this took me about um, one minute. So I'm going to show you how to do it real quick, and it's going to be awesome. So I'm going to delete this out. Now make sure you have a garbage mat around your um, your object here, and you use a garbage mat to make it so you don't have to worry about all the other crap that's around your object in the key. So you don't have to worry about keying out all this other stuff that I uh, use the garbage mat on. Um, when you create your garbage mat, you want to make sure that... Uh, it encompasses everything and your object that you want to use never goes out uh, out from it. So let's start right now uh, by putting on our effect. So effect, keying, key light. And uh, this one is called key light 1.2 and this is the one that comes with CS6. So you've got your uh, view here. I'm not going to go over everything but um, I am going to just basically show you how to use basic keying because there's a lot of extra stuff in here that we could uh, I'll go over all the details and it would take me forever so um, I'll just stick with a, a basic tutorial first and then at another point in time when we go over some more advanced stuff I'll uh, go there so <clears throat> the first thing we want to do is use this screen color here <clears throat> and you can see that the color it has a U in it and uh, so this must be made in Europe somewhere so or maybe another country that uses the U in their uh, words but just I don't know why I said that doesn't matter really but I just thought it's cool let's uh, use the eyedropper here and let's pick a, a spot that's like right next to right near the actual gun or the hand or whatever we'll just pick that and right now we can see that we already did have a pretty decent key already pulled it's uh, almost done if you look closely you can still see <clears throat> folds and a, like a little bit of blue or something like that in in uh, down here in the bottom and we've got a little uh, outer outside edge here so what we need to do is um, we can increase try increasing the screen gain to uh, get rid of some of that stuff um, when I increase the screen gain, if I check out the uh, alpha, no, that's not what I want. We want to check out our alpha down here. That's not what we want either. Um, we're on source. We want final result. That's what I want. Now I want to check out the alpha. So we can check out the alpha and see it's a little messed up. And uh, we can see that there's still some crap here that we need to get rid of. So the screen gain didn't get everything but it gets uh, an, us uh, closer to what we want to get to. The next thing we want to come down to is this screen mat and bring that down. We're going to mess with the clip black and clip white. And I like to be in the alpha view when I'm looking at this as long as I have a pretty good key already made. So let's go into alpha and we're going to mess with this clip black to get rid of all this bull crap down here. Uh, there we go. That's pretty good. Let's go into our RGB and see what it looks like. And I don't see any of that other stuff around. So now we're going to go into our RGB or alpha again. And we can see that all this stuff is in the way. Uh, our alpha isn't uh, nice and white. It's uh, gray and will be semi transparent. So if I put on my transparency here. Oh, that's too close. You can see like the edges are transparent and things like that. We don't want that. The hand you can see is transparent. We don't want that. We want it to be solid. So let's go back to our alpha. 
Now let's mess with this clip white and bring that down. This will make our alpha a lot more solid. There we go. That looks nice. Let's check our RGB. And we've got that nice looking, uh, we got a nice looking key. It's probably the best key that we uh, have used. Um, <clears throat> I want to show you this uh, unpre-multiply result. I'm going to uncheck that. And uh, you can see how that uh, affects. Um, if you look like, I see it mostly affecting right here in this area. So it's checked now on pre multiply. If you uncheck it, then it gives you like more of like kind of like uh, an edge like color, like at the edges. So that's what that uh, does there. So th that's the uh, quick way to use key light. It's so easy to uh, get a nice key out of, and uh, it's pretty cool. So thanks for uh, watching this one. Hopefully, you guys use this one first. So. See you guys later. Have a good one.